Right, so angles in the kite. Um, so you've got A, B, C, D. Here, here's a kite. It says calculate the size of the angle X. Now with a kite, right, a special type of quadrilateral where you have two pairs of adjacent sides that are equal in length. So what, of course, we mean by adjacent is, is next to. So this pair here of sides are next to each other. They, they meet at A. And then this pair of sides here um, are adjacent to each other because they meet at C. And they're equal in length. You can see two dashes there and one dash there to show that this pair are also equal in length. Now what's good about a kite is that it's got one line of symmetry okay, going down the centre. Um, and I'll just illustrate that for you now by showing you. Okay, there's the line of symmetry. So basically this side here is a reflection of that side. All right. So if that's the case, we can also say that this angle is also x. Okay, so that angle, of course, is identical to this angle. Yeah. Um, now, what, what's really good then about this idea, because we know that the kite has got a line of symmetry going through here, okay, and that this angle is always the same as this angle. What we can do then is look at the other two angles. Okay, now they obviously they're not going to be the same. They, they won't be the same because there isn't, a, there isn't a line of symmetry going this way, right? There's only one line of symmetry. So it's only these two that are the same. But what's good is these two angles here, we can add them up. Okay? So I add them up. 6 and 8 is 14. 4 carry 1. 6 and 5 is 11. Plus 1 is 12. 124. So those two add up to 124. But don't forget, of course, this is a quadrilateral. Okay, four sides, so we know that angles inside the quadrilateral add up to 360. So if I take away 124 from 360, okay, so zero take away four, you can't do, so we borrow, becomes a five and then that becomes a 10. 10 take away four is six. Five take away two is three. Three take away one is two. So taking those two angles away from 360, we left for 236. 236 for both of these angles, okay? So of course then you just need to split this into two, okay? So you just need to divide that by two and we will get our x. Two into three, sorry, two, two into two goes once. Two into three goes once, remainder one. And two into 16 goes eight times. So x is 118 degrees.